Welcome back. This week's video, I'm gonna do a week of workouts. So, which means I'm gonna be taking y'all to the gym with me. So, today is Monday. Um, and I'm gonna preface, I'm gonna go ahead and just like preface the whole week with like basically what you can just anticipate to see. I freaking wish that I had a mic because I would love to do like a mic'd up and actually like talk to you guys through my workouts, like in my workouts, but I don't have one of those yet. So I just finished a like body recomp where I lost a good bit of body fat and I gained some muscle. So now that I'm at the body fat percentage that I, you know, feel good about and, and happy with, my current like focus right now is going to be lifting heavy and gaining more muscle. So with that being said, I'm doing very specific splits right now. So I'm lifting five days a week right now to get those splits in. Today we're gonna hit chest and we're gonna touch the triceps a little bit. My shoulders take quicker than my chest and my back do. So my shoulders are a lot stronger than both my chest and my back. So, I'm dialing back a little bit on my shoulders right now because I need to get better. I need to get bigger and stronger in my chest and my back. I'm lifting with my buddy slash coworker. His name's Jesse, you'll we'll see him in a second. I'm hitting chest and triceps with him. Um, so today will be a little bit different because I'm not fully writing what we're doing. We're like both gonna, you know, throw in some stuff. We're gonna like go halvesies on it. Um, but the rest of the week will come from me. It will be what I do, like specifically and personally for my workouts. So yeah, stick around and just basically come to the gym with me all week. All right, brothers, it's chest day. Let's get it going. So we're starting up with our warm up. Grabbed a PVC pipe. Sometimes I do a resistance band, basically just doing up and overs and around the world to get my shoulders nice and loose um, and also get my chest and back a little loosey goosey as well. Starting off with a bench press. This is a warm up set. So I'm pretty sure I hit this for, I want to say like maybe 15 times or so. And then LL. Oh well. <laughs> this is Jesse's warm up set. <laughs> the comparison's horrendous. Okay. So this was um, like one of my first chewer sets. So this is 105 and I'm pretty sure I hit it for 10-ish, maybe eight or 10. But my goal for this day was to actually be able to hit 115 for three reps, which is a 35 on each side. Um, but let's quickly admire Jesse pumping this because good Lord, I wish. Okay, so this was the goal set of the day. So this is my 115. Um, so what you do not want to do is lock your elbows out at the top, which I actually did a little bit here because I was feeling very nervous. As you can see right there, I did not do very well. My second rep did not even go for a third, which was disappointing. But usually you do not want to lock out the top. So do not copy me there. This is a hammer strength machine, so it's like an ISO. So this is a seated chest press. So it's kind of like a little bit higher of a chest press. It catches your wide um, chest, so like your underarm area. Um, I freaking love these machines because you can do like great isolation work and they're machines, but they're still active like as like a free weight, if that makes sense, because you're loading the weight on it. But um, if you have hammer strengths in your gym, please freaking use them. They're seriously glorious. Okay, so now we're moving into an incline dumbbell chest press. So this one just catches it at a different angle, and it's definitely a little bit harder than you think it is. Um, and I'm definitely, this is like lighter than I could go, but at this point my chest is literally killing me, like absolute bloody murder. It hurts so bad. Um, freaking JP. So that's JP in the back. He joined us at this point. Great hype man, I must say. But look, ugh, just honestly look at Jesse. That's it, brother. There it goes. <laughs> okay, so notice how both he and I had our elbows parallel to our rib cage. So you don't want your elbows to go any lower than that. Um, for females, I would not use your breasts as like a, like a landmark because everyone's breasts and dumbbell sizes are different. So whenever your elbows come parallel to your ribs, that's when you want to take it back up. Now we're moving into cable chest flies. So this one you definitely want to make sure that you're squeezing and like feeling like you're hugging a bear with your outer chest muscles. So like as if you're hugging a tree. Oh, bust the move. Um, 
and not using your shoulders here. I know that sounds kind of weird, but you definitely want to make sure that you're like doing that active, like hugging situation. Like, so JP's doing a really great job here. He's taking his elbows a little further back than I do. Um, but still like, honestly, like a really great representation. So I moved on to triceps by myself. JP went and did something different and then Jesse went and did calisthenics. Um, but making sure to isolate my tricep. Oh my gosh, look at my veins in my forearm. Good Lord. Um, but yeah, isolating a tricep because it's a very small muscle. So making sure it stays nice and tucked to your ribcage, um, not using your shoulders or your chest on that one. And then of course, you know, we had to do a little flex. We had to show off the new muscles, baby gains, pump. Let's go. Happy Tuesday. So, I'm sure you can tell by my, my disgusting red sweaty tomato face that I have already worked out. That is correct. Um, I 100 million percent meant to talk to you guys before I worked out. However, things don't always go our way. So, you know, we just pivot. Totally fine. Today, um, quads. My legs grow pretty quickly take pretty quickly so you will see in this workout that um i go probably like 75 percent 85 percent heavy for me i could definitely go heavier and i feel like it's kind of obvious when you see me lifting however my because i'm so focused on form right now like when your form is on point you will actually notice that things start to feel heavier because odds are you're probably not doing like perfect form today you will see me throw in some types of progressions a progressive overload if you will um that's not just upping the weight because guess what that's a thing um so you're gonna see some tempo and some holds um and like i said like that time under tension like literally holding the weight longer but also like going slower while holding the weight um makes it heavier like in the long run it adds resistance to the weight so it's a type of progressive overload also i'd like to make a note i i like to squat do not get me wrong however i just never have and i don't know that i ever will be one of those girls who is just die hard like gotta squat like twice my body weight or something which no problem to those who do that like ygg i'm proud of you i'm so happy for you and that's freaking awesome if you can um squat not only your body weight but like more than that but me personally like it just i i just don't i don't care to so like yes i can squat my body weight and i can squat more than that but i just don't necessarily feel the need to so for me personally when i train legs and i do squats i mostly just add those types of progressions to it so a tempo a hold um a pulse things like that i don't add too much weight so you're gonna see some like really like honestly basic quad movements i don't really get crazy i don't really get off to that trendy like i said i just stick to the basic like progressive overloads and that's how it's done that's how you get stronger people um but yeah anyway without further ado here's said workout all right, brothers, here's our lower body warm up. So, starting with some leg, leg swings and then opening and closing some gates. And then a couple of other things on the floor, you just couldn't see them, but basically getting my hips nice and loose. So, I did a warm up set of just the bar for 10 reps, and now we're moving into um, my first real set. So, this is 35s on each side. My progressive overload today is actually coming down for a four count and then holding it for two seconds at the bottom before coming back up. Um, added 10 pounds each side, so that's officially 135. And just the same thing, really pushing it, making sure that my knees do not either fall in or out, keeping them nice and in line with my ankles. Now I'm moving on to front squats, which a lot of people don't like, but they're so freaking good for your core. So your goal here is to keep your elbows and your chest up while squeezing your core. And then of course, same thing with your knees, making sure that they do stay in line with your ankles and you don't want your knees to either bow in or bow out. Um, if you can stand these, I highly, highly suggest adding front squats to your leg days. So here we're doing a linear um, 
leg press and basically kind of the same thing just making sure my knees stay in line with my ankles so as my ankles and my legs go up like push up my knees stay straight with that they don't bow in or out and then these are some close stance walking lunges with the barbell um, keeping my front knee stacked on top of my front ankle and then just making sure that my back knee does not hit the floor and now we're coming into a cool down. So really catching my IT band on, on this angle and then doing some static stretching here, but just making sure that my blood is flowing and I'm staying nice and loose with my legsies. So I'd like to make a note. <laughs> um, one hundred million quadrillion thousand percent leg extensions were written in my program today. Uh, I was totally supposed to do that in between the leg press um, and the walking lunges. However, there, people were just sitting on them, sitting on them. I ended up ditching the leg extensions, which was fine. So I ended up going back and doing more leg presses just on a different machine at a different angle. So I'll like right here, I just did this a couple times and I just switched, switched that up into the type of like progressive overload that I did here. Basically just superseted it and did each leg like single leg and then I went to a standard as you can see. So um, not ideal. Obviously I would have liked to do the leg extension but like I just could not get on a machine and uh, I just got to the point where, like I just didn't feel like waiting to be fair. I was like oh let me just go finish up my walking lunges and I'll come back and do the leg extension. No. They were still both taken and I just was like, okay, whatever, it just like isn't meant to be. And that happens sometimes when you're in the gym, you do have to just kind of pivot um, and you just have to like find something different. And to be fair, I could have done something totally different. I could have absolutely done a different exercise other than another leg press or whatever. But it's really not that big a deal because like I said, it was a different type of machine at a different angle. It does do something a little bit different. It hits your quads a little bit different than the first leg press that I did. Um, so just keep that in mind. And I do understand that it's a lot easier you know, to pivot or change your, like your programming, what you're doing when you know what you're doing. But yeah, sometimes that happens and it is what it is. What's up brothers? Good morning. Kind of. It's 11.30. It is now Thursday. Uh, you did not see me yesterday because I did not work out yesterday uh, for a couple reasons. One, I had a lot of just had a lot of appointments, errands, and like just annoying, you know, like admin life stuff that needed to get done. So did that yesterday. And then also too, I actually like am, was sore. So I needed a good little recovery day. Um, so that was solid, but my legs are definitely still sore for from Tuesday. Um, and then I'm just getting over Monday. My chest was definitely a little sore from yesterday. Thursday, which means it is back day baby. And I also realized this morning, as I was writing up my workout today, I haven't hit core yet this week. So we're gonna hit that too. Um, I typically hit core twice a week, sometimes three, it just depends on the vibes. I brought the wrong clip today and it's kind of really just been messing with my vibe. Ooh, ASMR. Get my energy flowing with an energy drink. I need to eat a little pre-carb snacky or pre-workout carb snacky, whatever. I need some of that energy. So I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna roll on into the gym, get this workout done. So I will see you guys inside. Starting off with some lat pull downs here, we're doing a tempo. So I'm releasing it for a count of four, pulling it down for a quick count of one, and I am squeezing for a count of two. So again, tempo is just another way to hold the weight longer, so to create more resistance on your muscles. Doing seated face pulls here to avoid using any momentum, so it's only my back muscles pulling here. And then again, I am squeezing at the top or just when my muscles are flexed to ensure some more back muscles. And then a seated row here, um, keeping my elbows nice and tucked to my rib cage to make sure that I'm using my entire back muscle, which is important. Now we're moving into some straight arm pull downs. So on this one, you wanna keep a very slight bend in your elbow and making sure that you're using your whole back muscle to pull that weight down and your um, hands wanna to come to your hips. 
This is a chest supported incline reverse fly. So bringing your pinkies out, making them come parallel. Um, again, just another way to kind of prevent you using momentum. Same thing on these incline dumbbell rows. Now we're moving into some deep core movements. So here, this is not going to get you abs, guys. Like this is not movements that are going to get you the six pack. This isn't going to work on your deep core. This is going to strengthen your trunk or your foundation. Um, and it's just going to give you like a really, really nice strong pelvic floor, which is so important. Happy hams and yams day. <laughs> oh, I'm so tired. My body is freaking sore. Like, I mean, in a good way, obviously. My quads are feeling good. We're back to normal. We're not too bad there. So, like, good to go for hams and yams. But, oh my gosh, my back. Y'all. I hit back yesterday, and I freaking hit it. I hit it. Ooh, I need to reapply the other end, because it's hot, and I've been sweating a little bit. I can't decide if I'm going to hit abs at the end or if maybe I'm going to do some steady state cardio at the end. I don't know. I'm kind of just going to feel the vibes. But if I don't do today, I'll probably throw on tomorrow. Yeah, we're just going to feel the vibes there and just go from there. But I'm telling you guys, I chose freaking violence when I wrote this up this morning. Like... I definitely have chosen violence and I'm trying to mentally prepare myself for it. It's going to be a phenomenal lift as long as it hits, but it's going to be rough. I can't decide if I should have this energy drink or not. Only because I had two coffee this morning, which I don't do. Yeah, I don't know. I just can't decide. Like, I feel awake, but I don't feel ready. And so I'm wondering, maybe like once I start warming up, maybe I'll feel ready. I don't know. My pre-workout snack right now is super weird. So it's these dried mangoes covered in chili seasoning, so like tahini, salt, spices, whatnot. And then I'm gonna have a chocolate rice cake. <laughs> so I'm gonna sit here and eat my carbs and get my mind pumped and prepped and ready for the super violent team and yum oh um so you'll see it's like another type of like progression if you will um or just like something like more it's more on the form side that i'm like really working on focusing on is um just making sure i'm hitting single like unilateral movements so like single leg single arm type stuff so i have um I think I, it may have only been one move, but I do have some single leg stuff I'm going to do today. And that's just a good way to make sure that like your muscles stay even. Like one side of your body is not just like, ex like you know, superbly stronger, more balanced, whatever than the other. I mean, it's very, very normal for one side to be like dominant and stronger whatnot. Um, but you don't want it to be like an astronomical difference. That's a thick piece of mango. But yeah, I'll talk you guys through it once we get in there. It's hams and yams day, so you know the barbell hip thrusts are a must here. So making sure that they come into the crease of your hips. This one, my progressive overload was a hip thrust trio. So I did 10 reps and two 10 pulses, and then I did a 10 second hold at the top. Please look at that shake, y'all. Um, squeezing your glutes the entire time, making sure your weight's in your heels and your knees are stacked on top of your ankles. This is the first single leg move I did, which is a Bulgarian split squat. So again, making sure your knees stay stacked on top of my ankle and just coming down, driving my knee towards the floor and keeping all my weight in that front foot. My second single leg move I did was Romanian deadlifts. So that flat foot, all of the weight is in that heel and the kickstand foot, that's literally for balance and stability, nothing else. I'm very, very focused on hinging at the hips here. So making sure that I'm pushing my butt back as far as possible and keeping my shoulders back with a neutral spine. You don't want your shoulders to fall forward because that's how you use your back and that can cause injury. 
doing sumo goblet squats here. So your feet are nice and wide. Knees go out with your feet. Um, and then I did 10 reps with 10 pulses. This is a seated hamstring curl. So using my hamstrings, obviously, to curl it back. I went really, really heavy on this one, as you can see. Nice and killer. Um, that one is a little bit lighter on your joints than a lying leg curl, just so you know. And then a hip adductor. So squeezing my hips to bring the weights in. This one is phenomenal for your groin. And then, obviously, I decided to do my steady state cardio today. So we did the Stairmaster for, I think, 20 minutes. It was a good, really fun sweat. It's the final workout. Happy Saturday, brothers. It is the final workout of the week. And I'm equal parts happy and I'm equal parts sad about it. I'm happy because I'm ready for a rest day tomorrow. My body is definitely sore in the best way. But I'm also sad about it because that means this video is over. Um, and that makes me kind of sad. But I will say, I'm thankful that I did this because I've gotten to see like how I work out all week as far as like form, my gains, my progressions, and just kind of like being able to like visually like actually see my workout, which is kind of like helpful. So today we are hitting, I don't even know if you can see me, the sun is in a horrible position right now, but uh, there's nothing I can do about it. Today we are hitting shoulders and biceps. Um, so it honestly won't really be that big or long of a workout just because obviously my biceps are going to blow out like relatively quickly because they're just not the big of muscle and then I'm not trying to necessarily blow out my shoulders. I'm going to just work them. I want to get them a solid fatigue and then we're going to we're going to cut it. Um so I will be doing abs after which basically just means I'm going to be doing those movements that everyone loves to see and like wants to do because it gives you the visual abs whatever so I will be doing that afterwards so it won't be that long of a workout but it'll still be a solid one it'll be good I'm excited for it oh and I'm not even gonna lie I haven't written it yet I'm here at the gym but I haven't written it yet so I'm gonna do that during my warm-up I'll figure it out let's get this bread baby okay so we're starting off with typical bicep curls here um i am bracing my core making sure that only my biceps are working and the same thing here as i move into an incline curl so this just ensures that i cannot use any momentum other than my biceps and then this now we're doing a hammer curl this is an alternating hammer curl with your palms facing each other i'm going one at a time which is like really a struggle same thing with the core being braced here as a reverse curl so this is going to work your forearm again same thing bracing your core making sure only your forearm works and then this is a type of preacher curl so stability again only the biceps we are blowing them out today guys a single arm here and then yeah keeping them keeping your elbow on your leg is just a form of stability finally moving into shoulders we're doing a shoulder press here um so when you do a shoulder press you want to make sure that your elbows do not come lower than your shoulders so notice how when they once they come parallel i stop and i take it right back up that's really important and then i do not lock out at the top and then we're going to cap it with a super set of lateral raises into front raises um, again so basically here you want to think about like raising your elbows not your wrists and then once your elbows come parallel to your shoulders you take it back down Here's the ab work that everyone loves that is going to give you those visible abs, starting with bicycle kicks. Here are some knee tucks. This is a cross jackknife. Um, and then I finish up with some toe touches. So basically just like crunch and oblique movements. And that's all she wrote. Ugh. That was a week of workouts for you guys. Just hitting individual splits and hitting the body parts that I want to like grow the most I hit harder and I just hit more specified um so like you know a chest day a back day um so on and so forth but that's pretty much it you know just going heavy but still you know keeping up my form maintaining that because that's obviously super important um if you don't have form then the rest is kind of just a moot point you're not gonna get anywhere or you're just really gonna hurt yourself so but if you made it this far and you watched all the way through thank you i really appreciate that and if you decide 
If you want to give any of these a try, go for it. I have been juicy sore all week. I am thrilled to rest tomorrow to do not, well, I have to work, but other than that, not a thing tomorrow. Just a glorious slug Sunday. And I will see you, party people, in the next video. Have a stellar week. Love you guys.